hello uh, we are in my kitchen and today I'm going to be cooking minestrone soup it's so delicious and so so healthy for you so I thought I would be showing uh, you how I make it and share with you this delicious recipe it's very quick and easy to make and the best part is that you can actually make it from all sorts of different vegetables that you like and you can also add cereals or pasta which is something I love to do and also top it up with cheese afterwards so it's just super delicious. Minestrone is something we um, we try to eat um, once a week at least um, because it's so healthy and also it's a boost of energy and just your whole body feels so much better after a good minestrone soup I actually even um, have it in summertime regardless of the fact that it's hot outside and then I'm also like taking in hot liquids I don't care because minestrone is so delicious and so beneficial for your body all year round uh, it was also a lifesaver for me uh, after I gave birth uh, so for all breastfeeding moms it's absolutely amazing for you for the milk supply for your little one so try it out if you haven't yet and now i will show you the ingredients i'm going to use a little bit of pumpkin we have this pumpkin that my hubby bought this weekend and um, i've been using it for my little one to make him purees but also it's so delicious in minestrone soup also, I have half of zucchini, courgette, and you can even use more if you want to. Um, then I have sweet potato. Obviously, I'm not going to be using the whole of this, just uh, like one quarter probably. Um, then I have a carrot. Yeah, um, this is what's left over from uh, my son's lunch. I was making him a uh, lunch. So I used carrot and this is what's left over, so I will, I will be adding that to minestrone as well uh, because I feel minestrone isn't uh, complete without potatoes and carrots. This is like my base, you know, I always like to have um, potatoes and carrots and then I add other ingredients depending on what I have and depending on the season. So I will be using these two potatoes and my hubby today bought really really delicious vegetables which I don't really know the name in English but in Christian is macchine and in Italian it's tegoline and it's so so yummy. My little one also loves this type of vegetables so I will be adding um, this to our minestrone soup as well. I sliced and diced all the vegetables, look how beautiful they are and now I'm going to put everything in the pot and pour the water as well and add some cubes for vegetable soup which I will show you later. cubes for my vegetable soup minestrone that I will be adding. Um, it's just a classic cube by Knorr. You can use uh, whatever brand you want or prefer. I also like the Geta one and I like the one from Star brand. But um, yeah, because I do have a very big portion of minestrone, I will um, actually add two cubes and uh, you will get um, to see all the proportions and the way you should use the cubes um, like on the back, uh, all the proportions are written on the back and uh, basically you don't need to add any salt in minestrone then because this contains all the spices that you need okay and now that I have poured enough water and added two cubes I will leave this to boil for 45 minutes and then for the last 15 minutes I will either add um, cereals but I think this time I will go for a little pasta um, yeah because for the last two times we ate minestrone with cereals and these are five uh, different types of cereals from organic um, agriculture so they are super healthy and very very yummy I bought them in the Italian supermarket 
and I think this time we will go for little pasta. Little pasta definitely adds that something to minestrone. It makes it a little bit more full as a meal, obviously. And this one, this particular type of pasta is in the shape of rice. It's not rice, but it looks like rice. But you can add little stars as well. Super cute. In case you opt for cereals, then you should probably um, put these uh, in 25 minutes before minestrone is done. And in case of pasta, you should obviously follow the instructions. Each pasta is different, but I think it's around 10 minutes, sometimes even less than that. Um, so that's that. Mm -hmm.